Detroit devastation, of course, but is it also mixed with disbelief? You had so many chances today to save mm -hmm. yourselves. Yeah, obviously, but you've got to look at the, uh, the bigger picture. It's not a today moment, it's not a last week, it's a reflection of the whole year. Um, not quite been good enough uh, on both ends of the pitch, and it showed again today. It's frustrating, it's uh, disappointing. It's heartbreaking for the people that you know work behind the scenes. As you know, a lot of people that work at clubs normally get affected with you know relegation and things of that nature. So you know we we feel sorry for them. Um, you know we'll all I'll take the stick in regards to what comes social media wise. But the real benefit of it is the uh, real harsh reality of it is sorry that as people will probably lose their jobs off it because we haven't been good enough. So as players we have to stand forward, take that, and as a club and as a community we'll go again. Last season you came 11th. Yep. And got to an FA Cup final. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's happened, Troy? Why has it gone from that to this? Uh, if I knew that, then I'd be having, you know, I'd be having a different role. I wouldn't be a player. Um, ultimately, we haven't been good enough. There's no point dancing around it. Um, individually and collectively, we haven't been good enough. So I think you know, the whole club from top to bottom will do an audit. We'll look at where we're at and we'll reassess. But as I say, we, we can't look at today other than play against a very good Arsenal team. We were in an FA Cup final. Who, uh, you know, we wish them well for, for next week. Um, you know, all their players have been have been great, both on and off the pitch. And you uh, you wish them well. But we we've got to look at our own situation, take stock, and go again. It's not just us. I think Bournemouth and, and Norwich will be doing the same thing. Right. It's part and parcel of football. Um, but obviously, when it's me, people are going to enjoy it a bit more. So, you know, it's just one of them things. From a Watford player's perspective, yep. you have had to put up with three managers. Yep being sacked mm -hmm. for you is that a contributing factor of course it is we all have to do we all have to that's what i said from top to bottom you do an audit you look at it we can't say that we you know we got it right because ultimately we failed so there's no point standing around and dancing around it it is what it is but as i say the, the bigger thing is for, for fans and for people at clubs they'll be here long after the players so we have to be um, appreciative that fans will be hurt there will be you know, angry, annoyed. We have to take it, you have to have broad shoulders, you have to take it. From a personal perspective, I don't even know if this is going to be my, my last game for Watford. Don't know, don't know what the future holds, do you? So you, you, you do your job, you front it. When you need to speak, you front it. I don't, I don't hide from it when, we, when we're winning, I'm not going to come out here and say I'm great, and when we're losing, I'm not going to come and batter anyone. It's just the harsh realities of it. We, we weren't good enough over the course of the season and you get your just rewards.